What up, nerds? Jared Santo here with Changelog. I'm just putting the finishing touches on a very special episode of the Changelog podcast, all about Vim, with some special guests, such as Julia Evans, whom you may know from her awesome blog and her amazing programming zines. Julia was gracious enough to sit down for a few minutes and Vim with me just to give everyone a taste of what her Vim life is like. Take a look. This is a shell script. And I had these fancy little like headers in the script, but you can see like if I edit it, it screws up the header, right? Right. So I'm gonna highlight this uh, with V uh-huh. and then do colon exclamation mark header. And it wraps it in this in the hashes. So it's taking the selected portion. Can you undo that and, and run it again? Yeah, it's taking I can the undo selected it. portion and it's running it into that shell script, that header script you have, which you wrote separately. Exactly. We can redo. Yeah, let's do it again. So, so, like that. That's magical. Can you, in that header, and let's just see what, how much work you're doing in there. Like, how complicated is that script? Uh, it seems to be this. Is just reading from standard in? Yeah, just reading from standard in. It writes standard out. Nice. And just some nonsense, you know? like Just some, like, it. hack together <laughs> Python to do what you want to do. <laughs> yeah. It just, like, gets all the lines, makes sure they're the right length, and prints out some hashtags until it puts the thing in there. Cool. I find that really charming. I don't know what else I do. I mean, the other thing I love to do, which is not really healthy, is like do a lot of macros. Do a lot of macros? I don't think there's a good good example of how to use macros here, but I love to use macros. (laughs) Should we write a macro? Yeah. So let's say I wanted to delete all the comments. Like if I wanted to delete all these comments. Right. So there's like a better way to do this. But what I could do is I could define a macro. So I could type like QA and then find the next comment. So like a slash and then do like D to the end of the line, like dollar sign. And then if I press Q, that ends like the macro recording. And then if I do at A, I could just kind of repeat that as much as I want and delete all my comments. So with a macro, you do Q to start it and then Q again to end it. And what you're doing is basically recording a series of commands and then you're replaying that, right? Yeah. And like the sort of interesting thing about bin macros to me, because we were talking about Ed before. Yeah. Because like sometimes I'll edit uh, configuration files and I'll use a lot of like bin macros to do these complicated edits. And it's like not really a good choice, like, but it, it's fun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ed is this text editor, which is like Vim, but like it's almost like running Vim macros, if that makes sense. So you can write an Ed program, which is kind of like a Vim macro, and then run it on your text file. Right. No one should do this. But <laughs> once I needed to edit some files and I wrote like, instead of writing a Vim macro and executed it in, like myself, I wrote an Ed program and like edited my file with Ed. That's epic. Maybe not the best way to do it, but it's your way to do it. It's always fun to do things in ways that don't make sense sometimes. Totally. Totally. (laughs) So there you have it. A quick peek into Julia's Vim life. She has a lot more to say about it. Here's a preview from the podcast. Yeah, I love visual mode. Um, One of my favorite things about visual mode um, is, do you know how you can go into visual mode and then do like colon exclamation mark and then type a Unix command? And it'll pipe the stuff you selected into that command and then replace it with the output of the command. No, I didn't know that. (laughs) I think that sounds spectacular. It's spectacular. So sometimes I'll have like a list that I want to sort. And so I'll just select it all and be like, colon, exclamation mark, sort. And then it'll sort it in my editor. I don't need to go anywhere. Um, I I was making some like shell scripts. I wanted them to have like fancy headings. So like I wrote a Python script to generate the headings. <laughs> and then I piped it into the script in Vim. I don't know. I don't use that so often, but right. every time I use it, I'm so happy. <laughs> Click the link in the description and listen to the entire episode. In addition to Julia, you'll hear from Suze Hinton, Drew Neal, and Gary Bernhardt. Cheers. <laughs>